Hello there, legal warriors. Do you have a review hearing or a probation hearing in Washington State? Do you want to know what the one secret is to having a good outcome in that type of situation? Are you just interested in this subject? If so, this is the video for you, so stay tuned. My name is attorney Lance Fryer, and I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm's been defending people charged with crimes for more than 20 years, and I'm putting out these videos to educate the public. So if you found these useful, please like and please subscribe, and let me just jump right into it. What is the one secret for having a good outcome in a review hearing or a probation hearing in a criminal charge in Washington State? So first of all, what is a review hearing or a probation hearing? Well, what we mean by that is you are on some type of uh, uh, sentence where you have to comply with certain things that a court has told you to do. And it might be a guilty finding in the past where you have to stay out of trouble and not get any new charges. It might be something where you have to do classes or alcohol treatment or community service. And now you've gotten a notice from the court that the court is mad because they're saying that you violated some condition of the sentence or the agreement you had with the court. And now you have to go to court and the court might do something bad to you like putting you in jail or convicting you of a crime when you've been on some type of uh, resolution that did not involve a conviction. And so oftentimes we're very worried. Uh, what's going to happen? What can I do to best help myself? And I've been doing these review hearings for more than 20 years and the secret to the best possible outcome. So listen to this. The secret is what is the status of the requirement that the court is mad at you about at the time it finally makes a decision in your case? So what that means is let's say you have to do alcohol or drug treatment and the court has a notice that you stopped doing treatment or you had a positive UA, or you admitted to use, um, and now you're going, you have a court date, you know, in two weeks, and you're still not in compliance with your treatment agency. So um, what do you do there? Well, it's really important that you do whatever you can to not let that review hearing happen at a time that you're out of compliance. That doesn't mean you, you should skip court, but it means um, you should try to have either your public defender get a continuance if you have a public defender or if you have uh, the means get a private attorney get a private attorney to show up and continue the case to a later date because that will give you some time to get in compliance with your treatment in this case of a treatment example believe it or not most courts do not want to put you in jail uh, if you're on a probationary sentence they do not want to have to disrupt your life um, you know, they're people and hopefully you're doing the best and the court can see that, you know, the judge is a person. But I'm going to do better in the future sort of rings hollow to judges on a review hearing. That's what everybody's saying and you've already had a chance and they're looking at the potential screw up of what you were supposed to do. So if you can get that matter continued and if you can be in total compliance with, with whatever you're supposed to have done at the time the judge reviews what to do about the violation, then it's most much more likely the court's gonna just give you a warning and not take any sanctions or punitive action against you. So just think about it, that judge might have uh, 20 cases that day and if you're the one person when your case gets called and he looks at your case and now he sees or she sees a compliant treatment report, they're much more likely to say, hey, you know, relapse is part of recovery. Um, you know, you're going to be on a stricter probation, but we're going to take no action today. And, you know, that's what you need because if you go in there and the court decides your case at a time you're still out of compliance, it's not going to turn out so well for you typically. And what about another type of situation? Like, what if I've got a new criminal law violation? You know, what if I've had a DUI charge? or an assault charge, and now I've got another one, or something that's sort of what I call a nuclear violation, that's just my own term of art, you know, something that is really directly related to the original charge, now you have another charge just like it. Well, um, in those situations, what we often do is try to make sure that our client is in some type of uh, program to address whatever that violation is. 
Um, we want you to be doing well in whatever that program is, be it alcohol treatment or DV, MRT, uh, domestic violence treatment, something. So by the time the court reviews your matter, if they determine they're going to take action based upon the new charge, there's a reason for the court not to put you in jail and not to pull you out of the progress that you're already making whatever those classes are, right? Um, if it's a DUI charge and you have a new DUI, the judge has to give you 30 days under the law um, as a minimum, but if you're already doing really well on treatment, maybe we can get the 30 days as a home detention so you can still go to your treatment. Again, operate on the premise that unless you've given a reason for the court to not like you personally, the court is going to try, a, try to find a way to oftentimes make their actions be more rehabilitative to you, give you a chance, then be more punitive, just throw you in jail. Now, every judge is different, so talk to your attorney, but as you can see, there's a pattern here. We want to either have you in full compliance at the time the judge actually decides what to do about the non-compliance, that way it can be forgiven, or if there's really no good way to get in compliance because you've had a proven criminal law violation. We want you to be in some type of programs or have something going on so the court has a reason not to yank you out of the progress that you're making, right? You want to show the court that you're able to, uh, you know, reform your own behavior. Now these things, you know, these things aren't going to apply to a probation hearing that just uh, where you're saying the violation didn't happen, right? So you can also defend a probation hearing by saying, hey, I didn't do what what I'm being claimed of, I did do the classes, here's the proof, my counselor just didn't pro uh, provide it, or hey, um, that charge isn't proven against me yet, so this should be continued so the new charge, we can wait and see what happens because I think I'm gonna win that case. Those are things that you can do as well. Um, and so you definitely want to just hang on to the fact that at the time that the judge reviews the case for the last time is when you want to be in the best shape. So continuances are your friend to give you a chance to get in compliance. How do you get continuances? You can show up without an attorney and say you need a continuance to get an attorney. If you have a public defender, you can ask the public defender to do whatever he or she can to get you a continuance. Or you can retain yourself a private attorney and oftentimes a private attorney needs to delay things so they can get up to speed on the case and that's fairly routinely granted as a courtesy to counsel and again in the back of the judge's mind they're hoping that counsel is going to help you get on track so they don't have to put you in jail. So I hope you found this helpful what the one secret is to review here and you know, I gave you about three but the big one is uh, we've already talked about being in compliance at the time it's finally really heard and um, if you need some help out there please feel free to give my office a call. Again, my name is Lance Freimer. I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm's been handling these types of cases for more than 20 years. If you have something like this going on, give us a call. We'll listen to what happened. We'll identify a way forward and we'll be there for you. Thank you.